Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. First of all, I just want to say, why? Why would they discontinue the original? Why? That was my favorite foundation in the entire world and I recommended it all the time. I'm just so upset that it's gone. Like, why didn't they consult me first? <laughs> anyway, I have been testing the new version of this foundation out for about a week now and I've gathered my thoughts. Let's just say I'm not as impressed. So today I am going to tell you why. I've got pictures to show you of how this foundation lasted on my skin. I'm going to give you an application demo and just talk to you about the differences between the old and the new version. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation, then keep on watching and if you enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's start out by going over some of the facts and claims. Now, we can see that it comes in the same bottle as the original, 30 mils, and it retails for $26.95 at Priceline. On the Maybelline Australia website, there are 18 shades available, but I don't believe you can shop from that website, whereas at Priceline, there are 16 shades available. So this one claims to be a long-lasting foundation that feels light as air. It says that it's transfer-proof, water resistant and sweat resistant. It has a high pigment and a weightless natural matte finish. It's also an oil free formula that doesn't clog pores. So I picked up two shades. I've got 02 Naked Ivory and 03 True Ivory. So the first positive thing that I'm going to say about this foundation is that I'm glad that they have extended the shade range. I'm not too sure about the deeper end of the scale, but on the lighter end of the scale, they've added two extra shades. So originally 03 Ivory was the lightest. Now we have 02 and 01 Alabaster. The original Super Stay Foundation in the shade 03 Ivory did work for me. It was a touch too deep though, like just a touch. So I'm glad to see that they have expanded the shade range. So 02 is available at Priceline, but they didn't have 01 in stock. So this swatch here is the original Superstay in 03. This is the new Superstay in 03, and this is 02. So as you can see, 02 does look slightly more cool in undertone, and this is the shade that has actually been working quite well for me. I did try 03, and it just looks a little bit off. All right, let's bring it in and apply this. So as I said, I'm going to go in with 02. So I'm going to put two pumps of the foundation onto my palette. It still has quite a creamy consistency to it. See, it's not very liquidy or runny. I'm not going to put on a color correcting primer. I just want to apply the foundation so you can see what the true coverage is like. So I like to go in with a concealer brush and pop this all over just to spread it out. And then I take my sponge to blend. Straight away, I can tell that it is a lighter consistency. Although it's still quite creamy, I can just see that it doesn't have as much coverage when I'm blending it out on my skin. Now for reference, my skin type is combination. I do get a little oily throughout my T-zone and dry around any breakouts. And I have a very fair skin tone with a neutral to cool undertone. So as you can see, that one layer there isn't completely full coverage. I can still see some things going on over here. A little bit of redness on my chin. I will go in with another layer though and build it up. So with a little more added there, you can see that it does have a nice coverage compared to this side. The shade is very fair and it is leaving a nice smooth finish to begin with. I'm only really noticing now as well how quick it actually dries. I think it's because I'm talking at the same time, but if I leave it for too long, I've really got to like press harder to blend it out. Okay, so the foundation is fully applied. I used two and a half pumps in total and I just, oh, like even though it feels more lightweight, I find it doesn't blend as well as the original foundation. It also just looks patchy. Like it's like it's more drying. As I said, I noticed that it dries quicker 
And so I feel like it leaves certain areas patchy because of that. Let me, let, let's get in here, right? Look at this area of my face right here. Like what is going on with these lines and this patchiness? Around my nose, it just looks dry. Around here, and I don't have overly dry skin. Well, I wouldn't say I have dry skin at all. It's just if I get some breakouts, it can tend to get dry around the breakouts. But overall, I don't have dry skin. And I applied my skincare this morning, my moisturizer. So my skin is very well hydrated. I look down here. Like, it just looks patchy. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is good. It doesn't even feel like I've got foundation on. But when I look in the mirror at the finish of it, I'm just, I'm not happy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to talk about the longevity. If I agree with the claims, show you some pictures of what it looks like after a long day of wear and also some swatch comparisons. All right, my makeup is complete. Let's do a quick close up. I feel like my powder really saved it. I used the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder in the shade 120 Fair. It really smoothed everything out, but now I feel like it just looks heavy and cakey. So I feel like my pores are still looking quite large. This area looks a bit better, but it's just, it's just dry looking, especially around my jaw. And my nose just does not look good. The pores look huge. So overall, it doesn't look terrible. But when it comes to the longevity, this is where it just didn't last for me. So I can get a good seven-ish hours where it looks all right. But anything longer than that... Oh, no. I'll insert some photos now of wearing it after a nine-hour shift at work. It is currently... Oh, we've just gone into autumn here in Australia. So it's still very hot, like 32 degree days, sweaty, humid, and it just doesn't hold up. I hope that you can see in the photos how patchy it looks on my face and my mustache just... It was gone. All the product was removed from my mustache area because a sweat mustache is my number one problem and if a foundation can't hold up through a sweat mustache, it's not good enough for me. The original Superstay had amazing longevity. I could wear this on a 12 hour shift and it would still look flawless at the end of the day. It held up through my sweat mustache, through any other facial sweating, it didn't get patchy or break up, it was just a really good foundation when it comes to longevity and unfortunately the new version it doesn't hold up the same. So as for the claims I do agree that it feels more lightweight in texture and it does have a good full coverage. As I mentioned it's definitely not sweat resistant for me and I feel as though it just doesn't look as flawless on the skin. All right well let's jump into some swatches I will compare this foundation to some others in my collection that I really like and you can get a feel for the shades. All right, so first up, the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear in 02 and in 03. This is the original Maybelline Superstay in 03 Ivory. Here we have MAC Studio Fix in MC10. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. And this is the L'Oreal True Match in 0.5 and Porcelain. All right, well, that is all from me today. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I create a lot of content related to makeup for super fair skin. I have an entire foundation review playlist as well that I will link down below if you want to go and watch more foundation reviews. If you're wondering what other makeup I have on my face today, I dipped into the Natasha Denona Glam Palette for my eyes. I just used this matte shade here all over and then a little bit of shimmer on top of that. And then for my lips, I have the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Penelope Pink. It's quite a light nude, so I've just put a lip liner around the edges as well. All right, well, that is all from me. If you want more content, make sure you subscribe. You can also come follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.